All right, today I'm going to give you guys a, uh, a video of this Iron Man Mark 85 by Essex Figure Arts. Now, um, probably not going to do a full review. Uh, instead, I'm just going to point out some of the issues this figure has. And it's uh, it's quite annoying. And uh, and if anyone tells you this figure is amazing, they, they are delusional. Because uh, there are a lot of issues with this mainly quality control and uh, this is not the first one I've seen with uh, that issue uh, all the photos that I've seen on Instagram all have uh, all got the exact uh, uh, issues so uh, let's get into now uh, when I get figures uh, usually I, I take a glance at it and uh, immediately I notice something uh, doesn't look right uh, the thighs they look kinda weird the, the gold paint doesn't look right and um and the thighs they just look horrible uh and uh, if you look at the shoulders uh, and the bicep you see there are nubs all over and uh yeah seam lines everywhere so uh, this thing is just terrible uh you're paying uh quite a huge amount for this guy um 80 to 90 bucks for this guy and this is the quality you get this kind of it's very disappointing and uh uh, I don't know why they pushed it out so quickly. Um, I think uh, there's a, really a lack of uh, quality control over there at uh, Tamashi Nation. First, uh, let's start off with the face. Um, not liking the paint at all. Um, the gold paint, it looks more like champagne color. And uh, the line on the mouth, there's no uh, paint over there. Uh, they should have uh, outlined the, the mouth a little bit and also between the eyes uh, that section uh, they should have added another line there which they didn't and the eyes for some reason it looks a little weird it looks like the right side is a little smaller than the, the left side and uh, uh, again with the shoulders you can clearly see there's a seam line right there running right across it right in front so when you when you when you get this figure out of the box you can clearly see that line same thing on the other side right there the seam line is so noticeable and then the bicep you can see there's where the where they uh pulled it from the um i think they call it the the sprue uh, you could see there's some uh, cut mark right there and then there's another one right there they could easily sand that out, but they didn't. So it's very lazy work by um, Tamashi Nation. Anybody that works there, and uh, you got and on the thighs, you could clearly see those seam lines running right up front. They could have done it a little bit better, uh, but the seam line is just really, really annoying to look at. And the paint on the thigh, you can see uh, there's a dab of something. Looks like some gold paint is missing there or something. I'm not sure, but uh, it's uh, it's bits uh, the the amount you paid. It's totally not worth the price. And here's another spot on the shoulder shoulder armor right there. They could have easily sand these out a little bit uh, just to make it a little neater, but they didn't, and they just decided to cut cut the piece off and then um, I'm gonna start painting it so yeah no quality control whatsoever it's uh, it's really really bad and uh, you can see a little paint bleed on the front as well and that I could forgive but uh, the seam lines and the bicep look at that the bicep is the worst right there and, uh, all the other figures were pretty nice, but for some reason, this one, the 85, is just terrible looking. And uh, I'll show you guys one more look at the whole thing. Zoom out a little bit. So you guys can see it a little bit better. And um, it doesn't look well made uh, for the price I paid. I, I feel like this is a knockoff. It looks like a knockoff, but it sh it shouldn't be because I got it straight from Japan and it just released, so there shouldn't be any knockoffs out just yet. And uh, but already you could tell, uh, it's just really poor quality control.
if there's any. Yeah. I don't know why they rushed this out so fast. But, uh, yeah. Let's see, the back side looks a little bit better. But yeah, most noticeable would be the shoulder, shoulder pads and the bicep section. Those are just terrible looking. So yeah, uh, totally not worth it. Uh, if you have to get this figure, then well, at least you know the issues. If you can live with those issues, then get it. If you can't, then uh, mm, wait for another company to to produce this figure. Because uh, it's, I mean, other than the weight this figure has, I mean, there's a little bit of die cast around the feet area, but uh, I think uh, a legend could. Uh, uh, could actually give this guy a run for his money because uh, Legend is only 20 25 bucks. This guy is 80 to 90 dollars, and uh, the quality is not a whole lot better. So, so yeah, there you go. There's the Mark 85. A very, very disappointing figure. I don't recommend this at all. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.